So we are back from our completed challenge run, where we have characters that are absolutely useless in our party. I might as well just arrange them by usability here at this point. Let's put Laharl up here, I guess. We're never going to use Laharl again. So what I'm going to do, I thought about what to do in order to basically break the game. There's a certain stage I want to unlock up to, and then we can quote-unquote let the shenanigans begin. So I think we'll take one safety monster, because I don't know the exact science behind capturing monsters. It's kind of jank, to be honest with you. It's kind of jank. I know it relies off of our attack power. So what we need to do is we need to play up to chapter 3. And then we should be able to get a monster type that I'm looking for. And then from there, we need to unlock the Cave of Ordeals. And then from there, we need to gradually pump up the difficulty. So we have a character with a lot of mana, so that'll save some time. I don't know how much Laharl had. He oh wow, he actually is about to save his Kirk. That's kind of insane. So we have a couple different character options at least. Oh, look at the game trying to tell us to save chat. That's so cute. So I think this session will be mostly just cleaning up to the story mode. And then I think the next sessions will be predominantly just power leveling. So unfortunately, we have to sit through all the tutorials in the uh, PC version. I'm just looking to see if there's anything in here of interest. I at some point want a monster weapon, but I don't have enough money. But you know what? Money's not going to be an issue with what we're going to do later. So unfortunately, this will be the last time that we really see our characters. Because once I get going, chat, we are pretty much literally never going to use our story characters again. So I think from this standpoint, let's have just, I guess, Chris throw out some rage and just kill everything here. You know what, Calvisham? Let's have you shoot an enemy. <laughs> you could do it, Calvisham. Get that kill. Wait, did he get a special? Oh, right. His innate things. Yeah, that's fine. Can't do anything with them. There we go. Calvisham leveled. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and re-clear. But sadly, I can't skip the dialogue here. So, I mentioned before on the stream, the Disgaea Complete version skips all of this, by the way. So I'm a little sad the PC version never got that update. It's been many years since the Complete version of the game got it. But I figured I own the... I'm, I'm not going to the hospital. I, I know. <laughs> right, chat? I'm not. I refuse. <laughs> I'm not even injured. Get out of here. So the, so, the downside is the PC version forces you to sit through more dialogue, but it is what it is, I guess. So we have to get up to Flan, and we're just gonna play, I guess, sorta normally. You know what? I didn't get to use RJ Chaos a lot last time. Let's give him a chance to shine here. It'll be the Adventures of Calvisham. Oh, now that's sad. Chat, that damage was actually sad. Oh, I just realized. I could probably give Calvisham that Dark Rosary we got for beating Etna mode. One of the saddest statements we will say in history. <laughs> just like, we have nothing better to do. It's over. I mean, they're never getting through Calvisham stats, so whatever they want to try, I guess they're welcome to it. Ooh, almost not able to get the kill. But these enemies are worth so little mana that I don't think it matters. Ooh, almost got a kill there. So gradually, we'll improve his staff mastery. I like that I'm not bothering with the Geo symbols chat. Like, it's just, it, the vengeance is on. Like, listen, it's already over. Hold on. 
Wait, there's another enemy? Oh, okay. It's like, it's like, wait a minute. There we go. We did it. We got Quasi Power Belt as a reward. Let's take our level 4 RJ Chaos. Actually doesn't have the worst stats ever. Or just his... Oh, I could have given him the other staff. Uh, that was a missed opportunity. We we did have a better staff originally. Forgot he didn't receive it. Oh well. The Calvation, I guess, could get an upgrade here. I could give him the uh, glasses, actually. This would result in him doing a lot of damage. Sure, we'll get minor upgrades for our characters, chat. There we go. We did it. Hmm, is it worth re-rolling a Chaos Orb? I don't think it is. So we have enough SP to get Testament. We need to take about 66,000 more damage since we also have 300 kills already. Hmm. I might actually take this if we could get some teachers. Hold on, Chad. We're gonna reroll. See, if that was like manager 80, I would have taken it. I'll reroll one more time. Like for int specifically. Log game. Be kind. You have up to three commoners. What? 49 is not good enough. We've seen it could go to at least 60. See, much better. Can we all agree? That's much better. I'm gonna say, it can't be that hard to beat some of the stuff that I'm using. That is super, super good in for what we have. Could sell my other items just to get rid of junk. Plus, we need to talk to these people anyway. That way, I don't need to do this later. But yeah, we just have a spare Diabolic Sword. So I could technically equip Laharl with that, which might be relevant. Him having attack stats in the base kind of matters. So maybe that'll matter for later. I don't think there's anything else I could do in here. I don't really want to buy any more equipment for now. If I need to, I can get a monster equipment. A little confused there. But I think at this point, we'll just continue forward. Now Calvisham should have actual real damage. There are some things that are unlocked by having high gun mastery. I think I need to have gun mastery 25 to unlock the uh, EDF we saw earlier in the playthrough, the Earth Defense Force. So some of the requirements are kind of crazy, but sadly there's a problem with Disgaea 1 classes in that if you manage to get level 200 of the male classes for the most part, you'll end up creating a character called the Majin, which is just the best character in the game and there's no point to using other character classes. So I don't think I'm going to unlock it all on stream, but I will acknowledge there is a huge balance issue with the classes. So it's kind of unfortunate. Arguably, I think EDF is the only one that's like slightly better than Majin at its own role, because Majin also has S rank in all weapons. EDF, I think it's 130% hit, and then Majin gets 120, I think, percent aptitude towards things. So it, it's even better just to do the mages over everything else. So honestly, if you're playing more casually, it's probably just better to do a similar strategy to what I did. Get some mages, start leveling them. And then when you're ready to power level, what we'll end up doing is probably just unlocking Majid and like a casual play, but we're not playing casually. 
<laughs> we are shooting everything though, which is funny. We welcome them to try to beat us. Alright. Helvisham still does not have enough SP to use any of his abilities. I do now have the ability to do ice damage with my shots, which is humorous. Let's go ahead and turn on our character animations. We haven't seen those in like an, an eternity. Good job, Calvisham. I was gonna say, this is Calvisham's revenge for being used as the final character to beat uh, Volcanus. There we go. So doing elemental damage there is kind of interesting, I guess. I don't think I can use the mage anymore, but at least I used them a little bit. You know what, let's have Rogue die and also come in here. Its ability to counterattack should end this pretty quickly. Exactly, just use the power of gun. So getting improved counterattack would make sense for the ninja, because they're most likely to dodge everything. Goodbye these enemies. I mean, you can see they're not even just doing zero, they just physically can't hit him. So, like, when you're playing with, uh, moderately high-level characters... I got an achievement for doing that for some reason. I, I dare not question what that achievement was. I don't know what killing them like that would mean and why I would ever get something just now. We were killing, like, low-level enemies. Who knows? I guess his fist mastery is going up, which is always good. So if we want to use Rogue 9 for real at some point, at least we're improving him there. While also giving Calvisham gun experience. Next stage. Oh man, chat. Poor mid boss. I still don't think I could be injured because my sets are actually pretty good. Right, chat? Like, go ahead. Try to hit me. Watch what happens. <laughs> chat, wow. They, they physically cannot touch him. It's over. This is why it's tempting to give ninja things like a bow. Not that they're necessarily any good at it, but just from the standpoint of it's really funny watching them whip over and over. Sure, let's improve gun percentage. So we might see more fist move unlocks, I guess. At some point. Nice. <laughs> Mid boss run! <laughs> right chat, no! Mid boss, no! You're about to be deleted. Poor mid boss. If only he ran away. I have, but that was an it was indeed an error in judgment. Pathetic. What? I shall come to it. All right, let's collect the spoils and print some. Uh... Master Et, which means we're Master Etna's vassals. Now get. Now, now. I guess you're right. No, he... I see. I could technically try to get another testament. I haven't decided if I want to do... Yes. ...the special endings or not involving Earth's invasion. I'll think about it. But even by that point, I won't need testament. It's kind of a catch-22. So I, I could technically try to get another one by redoing that episode, but it's fine. Let's enjoy our short break. Finally, the time has come for Prince Laharl to pay for all his evil deeds. Hey! Now, Etna will fulfill the late prince's wish and succeed him to the throne. 
I'm not dead. So long, Prince. Your humble vassal, Etna, will put your money and power to good use. You're one scary girl. Next on Hyperdimensional Demon Gal Etna, Episode 2, The Birth of Queen Etna. A new era of the netherworld begins! You're delusional. Sure, let's make another save. I wonder if this was supposed to be voiced. It's weird that this is one of the only ones where text appears on screen and no voice pops up. Is that a monolith? It is indeed a monolith. It's also Yggdrasil. Look at that chat. Any moment now, Adel's gonna be climbing the tower. <laughs> I'm sure his ship is marooned and or shipwrecked somewhere currently. You just can't see it, it's off screen. Yes, I did. Here, Flom. Have a How be? <laughs> they are simple. I want to be. Flan. So basically, once we get up to Flon, I, have I will have enough monster types that I should be good to go. Huh? So the intent is. Episode two. Enter Flon. The intent is that if we replay her stage, which is something I guess that never happened in our playthroughs. But technically, every time you fight one of these characters and you go to revisit the stage, it replaces all the story mode characters with something else. I actually want to get the thing that replaces Flan in our party. And then after that, we need to unlock Cave of Ordeals 3, which will involve somebody needing to power level through. Maybe I have. But still, if the angels all say it doesn't seem fair to judge. Even if it's the seraphs, or does that mean it's all right to? Can't kill strangers. Let Flan do her little conversation. Who are you? And <laughs> ow! What the? Oh. So I'm I think Kirk has enough. Huh? I essentially at some point also need enough mana in order to. Unlock the harder areas. So I think I, for example, I need seven thousand to unlock one of the final areas, mana, which is a lot. But the thing is, is we're gonna scale up the monster level for the first time in the playthrough. So I need to just make sure I have access to certain things, and then we can start scaling out of control. We'll get through the dialogue eventually, Chad. I'm gonna smack. We've got an Okay, so I'm not gonna bother with the Etna book. Even if I could get another testament there, I I actually just don't care. We we don't need it to be the game. We have more than enough testaments. The sad part is we could probably get a third or a fourth one without trying. Because there's another area we didn't talk about before called Prinny Land. I think it requires me to go to chapter Three, maybe. I'll double check. Our health totals are wonderful. So if our party happens to die, we're going to get a lot of health. So Rogue 9, Kirk, and Parameter, Chris already are 6,000 health. I need to die... quite a lot. I could technically start doing it now. If I really wanted to. Oops, I was mashing through. Uh, let's see. Oh, I actually can't hit the target up there? Interesting. So essentially we'll pass basically all the stronger enemy builds. 
once we get a certain character. We have enough brave hearts to do whatever we want, which is also nice. So I guess I'll showcase what you would do if you didn't already New Game Plus. So we'll just clear the stages. We, we did the other playthrough previously with that, so we don't need to worry about that. But basically, we want to just merge all the monsters from the tutorial level once we have the stronger enemy build up in order to basically get our snowball going. So most of the time, people talk about using statisticians to get more XP. I'm going to let you know it is they are literally irrelevant for the rest of the run. My journey to 9,999 will not involve gaining XP. Believe it or not, it just it doesn't matter. <laughs> XP is irrelevant in our journey to level 9,999. So whatever. Absolutely does not matter. So you would just play the story normally up to this point. We're just doing an abridged version of the story. So I'm trying to keep it as quick as possible by just allowing counterattacks. We'll still level in Calvisham a little. Done. Why are they why are they running from me? <laughs> I chat, they're actually scared. But essentially, we're going to move over our super equipment at some point. So after, I think, one monster merge, we might actually have all we need to outlevel our current characters, believe it or not. Is it hard to believe, Tom? We're doing all this. We, we literally play through the game. Both story modes, and we're gonna out level ourselves in about 20 minutes. <laughs> it's so dumb, Chad. I love it though. Oops. I don't know where I was menuing there. I accidentally targeted the same person, but that's fun. We'll give Rogue Nine a chance to level up. Now, one thing that also makes leveling easier on, like, the complete version versus the PC version... Uh, the complete version allows for... I looked it up. Has a bill called the Strongest Enemy Bill, which is in some of the other games. But basically, instead of ranking enemies up one rank at a time to max level, you could do it all at once. Which obviously saves a lot of time. Which is kind of unfortunate that, for the most part... Those kind of time savers are not in Disgaea 1 in all versions of the game. But oh well, it is what it is. Also, what is... Let's check our proficiencies out in a little bit. I'm kind of curious. So this will be the setup part, and then the next time we play, I think it'll be like actually getting to 999. Because it's going to take a while to pass enemy bills, we might as well as do it. What Ignite's proficiency looking like? Ooh, already at 6. So we now have Lion's Roar, which is a good AoE. We'll probably be seeing that in Disgaea 2 used genuinely. So we're getting there. I think we have one more stage. Oh no, this is the stage. Well, it's time to go on a killing spree, Chad. So yeah, technically we made Rogue Nine stronger, which might matter for captures. No mercy! I love the exclamation mark of the no mercy. Yeah, look at this. What a nice AoE chat. We'll turn on animations. I didn't really walk him in the only spot I couldn't put him in. 
over here. <laughs> Just sit in your corner. Let's view. Nicely done. So we'll enter episode three, because we have to beat this stage, and then we'll be fine. Goodbye, dragon. Right, chat? Oh, I might have to do the item world dive. Now that I think about it. Oh, do I have to do the item world again? That would really suck. Wow! You defeated my dragon! Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. <laughs> You've caused a lot of trouble for me. I don't know who hired you, but I'll make you regret the day you tried to assassinate the Great Laharl. Uh, excuse me, but... Why would I want to assassinate you? Huh? I am Angel Trainee Thuan. I am here by order of the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord. You're here to kill my... There we go. Now we got a good rhythm. Doesn't anyone in You came all the way from my old man <laughs> Hey! Your father Papi will never when I think of Huh? Are you you came here to assassinate? Are you not me? I don't That's not when you lose someone or something in <clears throat> I don't understand How come? How come? Because I'm a de demons don't know e Exactly! If that's true, sadness is you're right. Demons. That's that's just. She sounds just like house. What good is it? Love is the re. I don't believe. If demons really don't know love, I was ordered to assess it. Ha Whether demons are pure evil or. What's love good for? Demons like me don't. If that is true, since I can't complete my mission, I must know for certain. And if we'll get there eventually, Jia. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got scared when the music paused. <laughs> My heart was like, no, please, no. Prince, you. But. <laughs> At long last, the nefarious Angel Flan seems to have forsaken her evil ways. N nefarious angel but can an old dog learn new tricks Juan suddenly reverts to killing machine slaughtering a crowd of innocent demons K killing machine finally she transforms into a space monster could this be the end of the netherworld space monster all right it's time for me to transform Next on Space Detective Etna, Episode 3, Etna versus Space Monster Flan. I'll protect the Netherworld at any cost! Why can't we have that Flan on our team? Space Detective too. too bad. Unsure. Well, there's the reference to the Space Detectives, I guess, from Etna mode. I kind of forgot that they had the conversation with this guy at one beginning. Salary. Yep. To I get that now. Explain to me. My vassals, well, then it's only natural. Oh, I Fine, but it's not. Huh? I That's my allowance. St Shut up. So we'll just okay. So, what we're gonna do once we get past this? Oh, yep. All we have to do is go back to Flan's area. We're gonna check the enemy level. And then, since we already have a ton of mana from playing the game up to this point, we should be able to just pass our bills. Three, a hint of kindness. So we're just going to slowly get more and more powerful. I'm not going to bother talking to any of these people. It does not matter at this point. We have their items. Yeah, yeah, we know about a key. Blah, blah, blah. I hopefully don't have to do... I said that before. I really hope I don't have to do the item world. 
So if we do have to do this again, I need to dive into an item world, which would suck. I might dive into one item world before the end of the game. Maybe? I need to go into a high level item like Testament in order to get super weapons, but when I go there, I have to have characters capable of stealing. So right now there's no point to doing it. I actually don't know if I have a rank 10 item equipped anymore. I don't... I don't remember what we did with it. I think it was just a common orb. Oh no, we have it. So I still have my old item from before. In, ca in case we need to do it, we, we can do it, chat. I can, I can go do it if I really need to. But I think for now I'm good. So I just want to confirm... Are you going to tell... Is she going to tell me that every single time? Okay. We're, we're going to tell her to stop talking to us. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, listen. Let's equip it and hopefully she'll stop spouting that every time I come here. Okay. Come on. There we go. So at least, because we never sold the item from before, I don't have to do that. That's what I was worried about. But I think we're good. Okay, so from the standpoint of the other characters, we'll just put the thing back on them. Thank you, Try, for holding on to that. Heal up a little bit. So now, what I want to confirm. So now, I want all the dialogue out of the way so we can focus on leveling. I just need to confirm. Yes. So right now, they're too weak. But Golem actually has some pretty good AoE. But we need to be stronger. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be passing some enemy bills, Chad. We're gonna be checking in on them every now and then. I love our raw, raw mana. I wanna have Lahar will do it, why not? Oh, so he kept his rank from before. Okay, that's at least good. I wasn't sure because he was out of the party for so long. Yeah, we can see these other options. Ooh, actually, I don't see stronger enemies here by default. I wonder then, in that case, if it would make more sense to use Kirk for this. Do another promotion exam. I don't see what I'm looking for here. I see more expensive items, which is not good enough. Yeah, let's let's take Kirk in. I mean, what are they possibly going to do to him at this point? He he beat Volcanus. I don't think it really matters what they want anymore. Right, chat? Like, go ahead. Nothing. That was your best attempt. Die. Thank you, Kirk's character. And we even get a little mana for doing this. So we have a couple characters we could use to unlock different things. Potentially to save some time. There we go. There's the stronger enemy bill. Let's do another promotion exam. Let's see what the other things are unlocked by default. So we would need to have been able to kill those. So I think if we're playing solo, we'd probably focus all of our levels into Laharl. I'd probably just recommend an axe over sword. If you're not going to play to the point where you get the uh, diabolic sword, which is the main reason I went for the sword in the main playthrough, axe just makes more sense. Axe can bypass defense, and we've seen in general it scales super, super well. And if you do it with Laharl, Laharl has AoEs naturally with his abilities. So even though he's typically depicted with a sword, I think he's actually just much better with Axe. Because he basically provides all the AoE that Axe is missing. Now that Kirk has done that. So we can do Cave of Ordeal, so we can unlock the other one. Could fight them again. 
Oh, there's a Majin. We're just talking about how broken he was. Let's, uh... Let's go showcase the chat why this character is just stupid. Oh, you can't see his proficiencies. Fine. You can't see his true brokenness. Well, I mean, Kirk has so much mana, I might actually just be able to unlock everything I need in one go. And if nothing else, he is gaining mana from doing this. Wow, they're actually still doing zero to him. <laughs> and he sealed their skills. Okay, now this is just being disrespectful now, right, chat? That's just actually disrespectful. <laughs> sealed his skill, killed him. You meleeed me as a mage? Are you feeling okay? I didn't even silence you. Anyway, small amounts of mana more. So... I don't know what that unlocked, if anything. Oh, you know what it is? I don't think I could see what I unlocked, because we didn't get far enough in the story. Is there another promotion exam? I mean, at this point, just to showcase it, I might as well do these. I don't need to do so for any of the other characters, but since I feel pretty good about Kirk being able to clear everything, I might as well take him to the end. Hello, shark friend. Goodbye, shark friend. Oh wow, Kirk leveled. I mean, maybe that's relevant. Maybe? <laughs> Question mark? The shame he only has an A rank in sword. Yeah, Shark Friend got absolutely murdered. I could have unlocked Samurai, which would have been a uh, pretty high attack, but the defenses would have been bad. And I th think that would have been a deal breaker for us to unlock Samurai, because most of the time we just need a Kirk to tank hits. We're just unlocking all the way to the top here. Yeah, so this is the other thing that we need. Is there yet another promotion exam? There is. Sure. I mean, at this point, Kirk has all the mana. He just needs to do the fights. If I need to, he can heal himself. Ooh, they actually threw some good damage. So he might have trouble doing the next bill based off of the difficulty we're seeing here. just gonna kill this guy. He's the only one that seems to be doing damage to us. Well, anyway, we have enough mana to now do what we need. I don't know if I can one-shot, but we could try. Nice. Level up might matter, question mark. As I said before, the game's monster capture algorithm is unknown to me other than it cares about attack it might care about our other stats like hp and defense maybe so it doesn't hurt to have more <clears throat> uh, this, can kirk get promoted again he can but i don't think i could go further so here's the final thing that we need unlocked so i think we actually basically did it then i don't think i could beat the that encounter specifically. But I can save us needing a whole bunch of mana because I could spend 8,700 on Kirk. Huh. I'm fine with that. Oh, and because Kirk did a... He did the other fight. Oh, interesting. So he got full healed. Interesting. I love that Kirk is 4,000 health now, by the way, chat. Like, Kirk is actually just so tanky right now. Holy. Actually unkillable. Well, okay, we, we've now freed up our use of mana, so I'm going to save the game. But we need the enemies to be stronger. Oh boy, their influence rate is so high. What level are they? Oh, they're so high level. Oh, this is going to be annoying, chat. Oh boy. So, what we're gonna do, given that they're so insanely high level, I have an idea. Why don't we take 
Her meter is more meter, but I could play Chris. Let's bring Chris. Let's get Chris up to the proper rank. And then if needed, I can pass the baton to Imperimeter as needed. Should be able to get some mana here. Oh, they're trying to hit Chris. Foolish people. You can't kill this character. Oh yeah, he still has Reaper's Cloak on. That's funny. I mean, I could leave it on him. It doesn't matter. This means that they just have no hope of ever touching Chris. Okay, so we'll burn up Chris's meter. It's a shame they're both at rank 0 again. So I think if I don't take them too, too far, it should be fine. Parameter is almost at the point where he can level up with Genius, which is kind of funny. On the plus side, Chris is the Omega Star is strong enough to just do whatever it wants. Nothing, nothing will deny Chris this promotion. The downside with getting these promotions is that we allow for more influence in the court. So I could try to survive that fight for the upgrades, but I'd rather not. The funny part is, Chad, is that Kirk still has another character upgrade he could get. I could actually promote him to, I think it's Cosmic Hero is the final upgrade. So we haven't even seen his final form yet, apparently. So for example, if I were to do... I'm not going to do it, but I'll just showcase. Yeah, there's Cosmic Hero. Oh, he becomes S rank in Sword. Wow, he could actually go straight for Genius. <laughs> Wow, chat. Wow. So if I wanted to... I think we could all make a face on that one. Wow, 35 attack per level? Kind of insane. So maybe we'll do that towards the end. But anyway, back to uh, Chris leveling. So we just need more improved enemies. They'll give us little bits of mana at least. If I do need to get more kills, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, Omega Star is getting so many levels right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does make it more expensive. You know what? I'm going to disrespect him with Giga Ice. There we go, chat. There's the disrespect. Didn't even use Omega. Not worth our time. Alright, so we got one more unlock to go, I think. Yes. I basically got one stronger enemy bill for free just by leveling up to this point. Yeah, I should level Giga Star a little more, so that way I get more fun patterns with it. Sometimes I don't need the full power, like I just need the ability to just spam it like this. So yeah, having that S rank in Sword would save a lot of time, while Chris is already rank 11 here. Super good. Alright, so now we're gonna save. And let's see if we can set up for next time. Yeah, this is why I thought a whole session would be needed for setup, but I think we can actually start getting 999 next time we play. And after that, the rest of the game is really straightforward. That's it. <laughs> right, chat? We tried playing nice. Nice time is over. What level are you? Are you not 100? We have won 138. Okay. 184 is kind of annoying. Okay. It's time for the chat to shine. Kirk, move forward.
right, since it's just a setup turn, let's do this. Here they come. Yeah, the 180 is a problem. We need to snipe him eventually. But that That's a future problem. I think right now what we could do is magic boost. Magic boost again, so they should be maps. And we'll double Brave Heart. That should be good enough for us to start one-shotting things. I do like that we could use Brave Heart to enhance our damage by buffing the enemy. I feel like that's so disrespectful. Dead. Damn, these enemies are kind of tanky. Oh, we'll try our best. Oh, he, he didn't get an attack buff. That sucks. Well, let's see if our character levels matter. Okay, good. Wow, I can't believe Imperimeter just straight up hits him from there. Holy. See what they do. Oh, it just ignored Imperimeter. How bold of them. I chat, bold choice. Mega Ice into definitely Omega Ice. Goodbye. So yeah, the PC version will make this much harder because I have to pass many bills versus passing a bill. Now technically what you could do, if you don't have high levels, you just have to look for a senator that approves of you. So see how this one has like 139? You could throw all the weaker enemies into him and just pump up the one that's for you. So if you can't actually get the kills against them, uh, that would be my recommendation. I don't super care if people die here. It's actually better that they die, just because it gives me more healing and will technically save me time in the future. Chris will be able to Omega Fire this for sure. And on politics are the best, says Calvation, something like that. Keep their magic up. Probably won't work to boost his attack. It did not. So yeah, so sadly with the ninja bug, we probably will switch Rogue 9 off the of ninja. As nice as ninja is, it is really annoying to not get buffs. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and hit you like this. Or getting more mana is always nice. There we go, there's the ninja dodge that we need. So Disgaea 2 kind of balances the dodge, by the way, that the lower your health is, the higher your dodge is, to the point where if you purposely just like, equip a muscle item, and then unequip a muscle item and put on your real item, you're basically invincible. So I look forward to that at some point, basically just being god. Nicely done. Parameter, probably weak enough. Try to give Chris a kill here. Nicely done. Now Chris has more mana. There we go. Pass the bill, chat. All that for one bill. Holy. We have so many more to go. That's why I was saying levels might matter here. <laughs> Other characters, not so much. So I want to make sure the rank influence is not super high. Oh, they only have 585? Okay. Oh, you better pass this bill. The fear. We put the fear in the courts. <laughs> right, chat? We we'll put the fear in. Listen, they're not messing with this. Get out of here. I don't care what rank enemy they are, they're gonna die. Ooh, it is slowly scaling more and more, which is kind of annoying. But it is what it is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Well, chat, time for some hands-on politics. Almost everybody rejected it. Well, time to persuade by force. I don't feel like resetting. I could, in theory, reset every time this happens, but I think it's time to just start getting some mana. And enjoy our characters while we still use them. Put Rogue Nine over here. Put Kirk Lake over here. Try. Ross. Ansel. Buff. Actually, what I could do that would make the most sense is I actually use them for this. Look at that. Look, look at this mage buff. Holy. I, I've been using... I think I've been using magic boost a little, chat. Just like a little teeny tiny bit. I'm sure I did magic boost there. A couple times. So much menuing. I'm gonna try to use double Braveheart on these two. That way they have some bonuses. Here comes literally everybody. Oh wow, they can hit me from there. That's crazy. Well, I don't think this changes my strategy at all, to be honest with you. That's all up to us. Oh, they're weak to Omega Wind? Oh, chat. Bad news for them. <laughs> right, chat? What is one of the most used spells in the game for our team? Goodbye. Look at that damage. Holy. Get away from me. Foolish peons. Die to the power of wind. Well, they're both kind of weak, honestly. I might be able to get a Lion's Roar on them. Did he actually get attack buffed at all? He did, okay. Cheated. If only he didn't dodge the buffs, chat. Need to do 91 damage. I'm just curious, can Calfee Ship actually get a kill here? Oh, wait. Oh, strong against fire. It's like, oh, if they were weak against fire. Let's see, can Calvishim get the kill? Oh my gosh, Calvishim did it, chat. There we go. Good job, Calvishim. That saves me a, a big headache. His level ups matter, chat. You saw it here. That would not have killed if we did not give him like three gun rank and two levels. Yeah. Okay, so we basically just have Imperameter and Chris nuking everything that walks vaguely in our vicinity. Just how it should be done, honestly. We can also summon Laharl. There are so many monsters, chat. What the heck is this? Wow, they couldn't kill one of our characters. Interesting. Um, They put one of our characters to sleep, which is kind of annoying. Well, Chad, I think it's time to uh, bring out the, the old favorites, as it were. How weak are these guys? Oh, they're ultra weak. I'm not even going to bother killing them, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to kill the level 73 with Chris, because we need to make sure his mono stays up. And if he happens to the level, it's funny. Oh, this is like prime Omega Starring. Goodbye. I think I could do something like this just to build meter. Nice kill. Again, like the fist rank is starting to matter. At this point, we now at least have three solid melee characters. 
Because now that we gave Laharl the Diabolic Sword, it's actually not terrible. These poor enemies. You know what? Let's give him a chance. Chris's magic because it's funny. Oh, you're weak to Omega Wind. No, I'm going to disrespect you with Giga Wind. There we go. That's how Chris passes a bill. He pays 150, gets 150 mana back, murdering everything that tried stopping him. That's how bills work, right, chat? <laughs> Just, they pay for themselves, isn't that how it works? Oh, Flan, you shouldn't even be here at all. You're useless. <laughs> Get out of here when I'm menuing for important characters. I'll at least bring Laharl down a little bit so I can reach him faster. Put the melee bros at the bottom. Put Calvisham somewhere in the middle. I mean, honestly, Calvisham's stats aren't completely terrible. I mean, we get, obviously gave him the thousand health up, which is funny. <laughs> He's just, he has no reason to be this strong. Oh, man. If only we had a real gun for him. Honestly, maybe I'll just give him more hit up. I don't think I need movement now. I'm just looking to see who doesn't have multi-slippers. Let's give you two slippers. There we go. We don't need Calvisions movement anymore. Honestly, we might legitimately use him for damage. I could buy him a gun. Oh, speaking of which, Chad, let's let's have an observable effect. Remember, they were around level six when we did this earlier. Let's see what level they are now. I mean, you can see they're starting to get up there. But they need more. Chat, more. So right now, if I combine them, I could get a level 100 monster. But that's not good enough. Man, it really does just keep scaling up and up. So we need to make sure Chris keeps getting kills, I guess. Yeah, by the way, the stronger enemy bill only costs a thousand. So we need like a ton more mana compared to before. So we need to make sure Chris basically pays for himself. We could take a couple of hits later on, but... That's over here. I think we could now just legitimately just use Laharl. I mean, he is actually using good weapons now, I think. Yeah, the 611 sword's pretty good. And since we've been bravehearting so much at this point, we should be fine. As much brave part as we can now. I think they can just go on a big killing spree if they get buffed. And since we've used brave part so much at this point in the playthrough, I could just do this, which is hilarious. And I think I want to magic boost, magic boost. I think it's the right call, just so they get some stats here. And this is where man oh man, I really wish we had one more mage that could do buffs. Garnet, RJ Chaos, you need levels. Because then we could have quadruple Braveheart and triple magic boost, which is a big difference. The wall is approaching. Nicely done. Now what we do is double Braveheart, finish them off. We know if Kirk isn't over 6,000, he could get more, so he could get more. 
and we're gonna double magic buff these two. So at least their damage is still... Their damage is already really good, but we can make it better. Now they should be close to 5,000. Nice, they are. Oh, these enemies are kind of weak. Or, oh, see, that one. That one's the problem one, so Chris needs to eventually kill that one. Um... Just throw them to combine them. Try to give Chris more mana. The ice. That's kind of the nice thing. I could just kind of do this whenever I want, just to make sure that they die. Who is lower resist? Your resist is trash. Your resist is even worse. So now we can start forming our money back. Weak to ice. I think I'll have Imperameter hit him with a little bit of fire damage? Just to weaken him for a combo, and then actually hit him with ice. Chris. Should work. And it'll level Chris. Yay, more stats. Chris got 95 of his mana back. Oh, they're dead. So this guy's annoying. I don't want to merge him with anybody. These other characters I don't care about, though. Like, you could bind the level 30 into the 99. I could bind two 68s together. It would potentially help Chris. Let's do that. <laughs> Everything is just now, can we get our money back every time we play? So now your resistance is not great. I think we need to take care of some of these guys. So this guy is just annoying. We'll try to kill him. So an Imperameter can hit this thing with Omega Ice and then Chris can follow up for more damage. Chris can also get that kill for free, I'm pretty sure. Nice, Chris basically got another 120 or so. Oops, I could have magic boosted first. Again, it doesn't really matter if these characters die. I don't really care. Any of these merge into something fun? Ooh, that one could be kind of annoying. Let's move him over here. So Chris will basically pay for his bill if he could kill the monster that just moved behind him. Okay, so there's only two left. What we could do is magic boost again. Probably double magic boost here. Makes the most sense. Or actually, we could be extremely disrespectful. So what we could do is move Laharl here. Actually, it doesn't matter who throws. Throw you here. I need to do 6,000 damage, and your resistance is average. So what we could do for maximum insult... Let's go ahead and magic buff. <laughs> to build our damage of the combo, and then we just do a hurricane slash into Omega Ice. Should kill. Nice. Wait, there's another enemy that's still alive? Oh, you. Well, anyway, Chris got his mana back, chat. <laughs> that's all that matters. Hold on. And Chris level. Nice. I mean, that's one way to improve the stronger enemy bill. Chris is slowly catching up in levels, but yeah, we probably need to rank him in one more time. Man oh man chat, do I wish there was a faster option?
Hi. <laughs> Are we not gonna pass a single bill? <laughs> well, at least if we have to pass a hundred bills by force, or a uh, pass a hundred bill, yeah, I think it's pass a hundred bills by force, is one of the endings. At least we're on our way there. I'd say that definitively at this point. Let's have them attack Rogue Nine and Kerr. Magic buff, magic buff. I mean, at this point, if it always goes to Chris, I shouldn't run out of mana. But we'll see what happens. I realized this was a better use of Braveheart magic. Must less. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's all you could do? Right, chat? Big yikes. Kind of embarrassing for you. How about you get Giga Starred and die? Let's keep their buffs relatively intact, slash in sync. So basically, our front lines at max damage, our back lines at max damage. We managed to get roll. We managed to roll super low on these enemies, which is kind of nice. There's level 61 that thinks he could defeat Chris. Uh, spoilers. He's about to get a mega fired. Just that's all they could do, chat. It's just kind of sad. So this point, our potential formations with our buffs is kind of funny. You can see, we are still potentially going to learn a lot more before the end. I guess at this point... We start walking forward with the melee squad. Market high problem, get out of here. Oh, that one shot was real. Yeah, let's save ourselves some time by doing this. Give them a target. There's only one left. This is the forest that opposed Chris's bill. That's it. Wow, that's with stronger enemy bill. That's all they could muster. Well, on the plus side, Chris is almost at rank 12. So what I could probably do is just magic up, even if it doesn't do anything, because I could just build more proficiency. Speaking of which, what is a parameter at? Oh, he's actually, Chris actually got in front of a parameter finally, because we've been spamming Chris so much. Anyway, why don't you just get Omega starred? Thank you. Oh boy, chat. So when we do this, we eventually have to weaken the enemies. So you can imagine this is going to take a little while. We could go for like another half hour or so. I've lost track of how many things we've passed for it. I wish there was a way to tell. to be here a while. I could try bribing them with items, but I don't think it's worth our time for the most part. So at least because we have three melee, we're at the point where it's not quite way impossible to kill them like it's gonna we're basically leveling them up to etna mode levels of levels and some of them will just be heinously high levels so we have to be 
more wary of those. I guess I could bribe them in general. Although I think when we clear this, we don't get mana. Which is a little unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. Be back. Speaking of which, I don't know what that means. This left right button with X. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that's a little easier. Oh, Cursor Mode B feels terrible. Done. It basically locks it into the grid. Feels much faster. Ah, so I just switch whichever one causes the zoom in, which is fun. Uh, let's go ahead and use some Braveheart here. I was to quit. That would have been bad. I was just looking to see if there's something to speed up the cursor other than holding the button down. A lot of enemies that don't like us. Unfortunately for them, I don't really care what they want. <laughs> right, chat? Like, just how unfortunate for them. No mercy. No mercy indeed. Done. Chris got most of his mana back. Sure, we'll have a parameter come over here. Serve them the business. Oh, you didn't die? That's okay, we have a backup melee. Goodbye. Thank you, Rogue Nine. Your levels and or proficiencies matter. Ooh, counter-attack war. Oh, they're gonna lose that counter-attack war hard. Oof. Picking them up a little. Kill the big threat back here, honestly. Oh, I actually can't. Okay, then we'll combo attack. Nicely done. Oral's proficiency at 13. Wow, he, he's just the same rank as Kirk is. Kind of funny. Level 70 versus 142. Oh, that guy's kind of tanky. Um, which character is... Hmm. I don't think I could throw them into them to beneficial, but what I can do is something like this. Oh, that's right, I attacked with him. Um... I guess it doesn't super matter, the order of operations here. I think what I want to do is throw you... Here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, get Etna. Oh, I forgot him. Now I just need Etna. Could wound them ahead of time if I want to, but nah, it's not worth it. Now we have a super senator. Who only knows healing and has no weapons. So I don't know what this character is really going to do to us, if anything. I'm a little confused, actually. Are they just going to walk up and try to punch me to death? Also, I'm surprised she overwrote the monster, to be honest. But whatever. Be able to kill next turn. She's <laughs> just. The cleric is throwing fists. Wow, talk about a poor choice of combat options. 
Chris will get 212 mana back. So he's basically going even while getting a little better. We definitely need to recover SP. So I think we don't die, but we don't get our SP back either. A little awkward. Uh, let's do a quick check. Oh. Wait, there is a grave. Oh. Is she like perma dead? I don't think I I didn't think I re I didn't think I realized we could kill these characters. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me I have to restart. I did not know this was a thing. Wait, what do we do? Do I just go somewhere else for a second? Hold on a second. I don't think I've ever encountered this before. I'm actually confused. I didn't realize you could actually kill them. Uh, let's just do a promotion exam for now and see if she resets. Welcome try. That could be a problem, and I might have to redo things, which is really unfortunate if that's the case. Let's hope she comes back after this, otherwise this is going to be a problem for later. Ha! Yeah, otherwise I'll just make another save and reset. Alright, hold on. There's no way this could be a soft block. Let's just quit out. I'm just like... I'm like, I refuse to believe this soft blocks me. There we go, okay. That, that is kind of obnoxious, because I wanted to go use them and we killed them. Well, at least we know Nebula just doesn't stand a chance against us. The question. Hopefully you're doing well, Try. Your character was helping buffing, buffing people. So I could get a 30, 50, 1... So this is a 75, 100... About 140, 160 monster. We could do better. Stronger, Chan. Man, oh man, do I wish you could pass the bills faster in this game. So unfortunate. That's gonna take a little bit of time. Probably like at least... It's gonna take longer than I thought just because of how much time stronger enemy bill saves. Because I'm gonna need probably at least another two hours at this rate just to pass the bills. And only passing the bills, just to be clear. Not actually leveling to 9 to 9, just getting through all these bills. Insane. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'll do it for now. I might do some of it off stream. I'll think about it. Because we have to pass a lot of them. Like, a lot, a lot of them. To the point where we basically hit max level. On the plus side, our current Etna mode party can do whatever. I don't know why I keep doing that out of habit. I need to not do that. Tried to the battlefield. Oh, so if I hold the button into it, I can do the speed up movements thing. Did you you can't just hit it while it's like this, because then it'll displace it. But I can hold it ahead of time, interesting. I mean, that's kind of scary to me to put it on speed and then press it again and it releases. I don't really like that. But fortunately, we're very gradually building all of our masteries. These poor fools. Hmm. Only level 5? I think they could do better. What's your resistance? 
This is actually isn't all that great. We're gonna take the four raw from over here. Ooh. Do something like this, maybe. Honestly, resist still kind of terrible. <laughs> we'll make sure Chris constantly gets his mana back. Oh look, their back is turned to us. How convenient. It sure would be a shame if somebody were to set them on fire from a long distance. What an absolute shame if that were to happen, chat. But who would do that? Let's just build a meter. Look, Chris is damaged because he needs to get the kill. Chris squeezing in those levels, chat. This makes it easier and easier every time it happens. Are you an NPC? Oh, you're the shopkeeper? Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> right, chat? What were you thinking? That's why. She's a unique NPC. That's why the human character overrode it. Now I understand. Let's go ahead and just throw her into people. Do I even need to protect myself from this? I don't think I do. Just do something like... Uh, just kill you, I guess, because you're probably the most annoying one. Okay, so we'll hit with Imperameter's Ice Attack and then finish off with Chris. So we just constantly funnel Chris more and more mana, so he just basically passes his bills. I think that's fair. I like how we don't have a bonus gauge, but it still fills a bonus gauge. This poor lone enemy chat. I'm so sorry. I just... You know what? Hold on. Max, max disrespect time. Here we go, chat. The max disrespect. This is so mean. There's no, there's no reason to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Goodbye. Look at that chat. It counts towards the combo. Perish. <laughs> That's so mean. So messed up. Oh, well, it's just the item world character. Nobody cares about that character. <laughs> Nothing of value is lost, because I don't plan on doing it until much later. So we're on our journey through here. We can do probably like two more bill passes, and the next time we're going to finish passing our bills. We have so many more to go. In fact, how many stronger enemy ranks are there? I'm sure there's a lot. I think it's 20 in the base game or something insane. Yeah, it's 20. So we're getting there. So yeah, we're gonna be here a while. This is what the majority of the playthrough will be. It's passing these stupid bills. Which I will say, thankfully, is much faster in the other games, to the point that they are also cut out of some of the other games altogether. So I absolutely respect this guy a complete for removing that, because that it is insane how many bills you have to pass in the vanilla version. I have a bad habit of touching the side buttons while I play. Go through here. Get try in here again. So at this point, nothing is strong enough to really kill us still. Like you can see like the the lowest enemy level is starting to be in the 30s. Although there's still somehow a level 6 in here. I'm honestly impressed that there is somehow a level 6. I don't know if they are not impacted by stronger enemy bill. I feel like that shouldn't be possible unless they were like literally level 1. But even our level 1s should be like level 12 by now, so maybe they aren't impacted by it. Because if they're not impacted by it, then it's it's definitely over. We are definitely going to kill them. Oops, I did not do that. Okay. 
get one more character out here. So basically, as long as Chris just keeps killing, he should be good. I think eventually the price of the bill will go up to a thousand. I think it's what it's happening. We're basically cutting the cost. And the thing is, is that we could switch over as to who does the bill. If we run out on Chris. Because it doesn't need to be just one person passing it. It's nice if one person passes it. it. Makes it easier. But we do have at least two characters to do it with. So I'm not super worried about running out of mana, even though it costs... I don't know, like 10,000 plus mana total. It's like the, what is it, like the Fibonacci sequence or whatever it is, where you add like the, the first number and the last number and you combine the total number of sets. Whatever that mathematical theorem is called. I think it'll be around 10,000 if I had to guess, total. Or depending on math, it could be 20,000, I guess. But either way, Chris is going to be getting a lot of mana. I'm not super worried about it. He already negated the first 1,000 or so spent. Lots of easy kills here. What we're gonna do is just help Chris along with some levels. Still don't understand how he's level 6. They should be at max damage, so now all we need to do is hit them with win. And I can even disrespect them. <laughs> right chat? Max disrespect mode engage. This buff their stats before they die. It improves your damage. Outplayed. <laughs> Alright, that's not gonna hurt us. Get out of here. So 42 and 80. Ooh, if I combine these, this is gonna be an actual challenge. Ooh, his resistance rolled super low. Chat, someone lost the stat roulette on that one. Listen, he should have had like a thousand something. I am not gonna complain if they don't wanna stat him properly. That's all I have to say there. No complaints. Hurricane Slash on you. Get rid of you. All we need to do is Hurricane Slash into Giga Ice from Imperameter? If Imperameter gets the kill, it's not the end of the world. So you know what? Do this. Buff his me- well... On order of operations. Let's cancel your movement for now. You can still go here. What I need to make sure is that these two get buffed. But I think we could do long range combo manipulation. We'll do this. And we'll do Braveheart on you. Braveheart on you again, because it's funny into maybe back attack is good enough into a parameter maybe using some star move mega star into ice and hopefully this just kills with all the stacks That lone zombie chat. Oh, so bad. Poor zombie. I mean, he tried, I guess. Anyway, it's time for Chris to tell him to go to sleep <laughs> forever. Oh, there's still an enemy here. Whoops. Uh, you know what? We'll use the fist fighter. Good job, Rogue Nine. Show him what's up. Nice finish. We're getting there. So we'll do a quick little check before we take our break for the day. So I could go for like another, probably two. 
Well, maybe one, we'll see. So Chris has managed to maintain his mana exactly where it was at the beginning. So he's gone mono neutral so far. But everything's gonna get more and more expensive. Yeah, I mean, look how expensive the stronger enemies is becoming. Only 572? This? They must not scale with stronger enemy. I almost pa I am surprised I failed that build. That was like 354 to 260 something. Kind of unfortunate. Unfortunate for them. <laughs> right, chat? Like, that's this is their fault at this point. I mean, can Chris just kill all these? Are any of these actually threatening? No. Why do they roll such terrible levels? Oh, there's 174. There's one character that can threaten Chris. Whatever. Well, there's no reason to not keep leveling in Parameter, so at minimum I should at least do something like this. I'm gonna give RJ Chaos XP, but... Unfortunately, the time has passed for that in our playthrough. I still feel sad every time, though. Darn you, story mode. XP being terrible in Etna mode. Since Mono only cares about total enemy levels, the only reason to combine them would be money and uh, XP. So if I combine them up to 100, as we mentioned before, I do get more XP, but honestly, when they're just this trash, I don't think it matters. If that's all they can do, I'm not feeling all that threatened. But what I could do... Is throw one of these characters into the other one. Make them a little more XP worthy. Something like this. Nicely done. Uh, Crick could still need XP for later from one of the unlocks, so I might as well just kill them now. So yeah, as I said before, we somehow managed to go mostly mana neutral, which is nice. Wow, Calvisham almost got the kill there. That's embarrassing for them. Goodbye. So sadly, they were so weak, I don't even think we got anything of use. Okay. Yeah, I got time for one more. I just want to check this before we go. Let's see what level they're at now. Fortunately, I don't think casting murder will matter here. The so 40, 70, 100. 130, 160, on average, probably rounding up to 210. So I could get a 210 monster right now, but we need better. I guess the other thing I could check real quick, actually. Can I skip ahead a little bit before I go too much further? I want to do one thing with Kirk's character, potentially. Hmm. Is there anybody else that has a high rank? Or is it just those characters? I'm worried about the influence number being too high. Let's try this. <laughs> right, chat? As long as it's not- as long as they're not, like, ultra high level, should be fine.
So I could try to bribe some of these. Everybody loves us. Shark Man doesn't love us. Oh, he really does not want our other items. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think I could bribe these other ones high enough, sadly. They sadly do not want most of our items. Don't want to give away our orb. Let's see if we can dig into the boat here. Oh, one of them did work, actually. Ah. It costs us a lot, so this might actually be hard. Their levels aren't too crazy. The problem is that there's a lot of them. I mean, numbers in terms of stats, that is. Um... I think what I want to do for now is actually just have the melee squad go in. Something like this, right? Oh, it needs one more space forward. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... Actually, this. Put Rogue 9 here. We're going to move our mages in the corner. To not do that. But see, now I'm getting myself confused. Dead me. We try over here. So there's no possible way these characters should get hit at this point. While still having ridiculous range. So this is actually going to be hard, but we're going to force the bill. I want to check the Cave of Ordeals right now because I might be able to skip a step. Like, I do need some stronger enemy bills. But I might be able to use the Cape of War deals for what I need to do. Versus some other things. Eventually I do want to go to the Cape of War deals. So maybe because the bill passing is going so much longer than I thought. It might be better just to at least check it out and unlock it before we go further. Okay, so we've more or less got our damage dealt. So we're going to go ahead and... Winged Cutter. Into Overlord Wrath. Ooh, that was, still wasn't good enough. On the plus side, if that's one of the tankier ones, the other one that I'm worried about is this guy. He's gonna be doing some big damage. I'm not worried about the Titan. He can't reach me. Not yet, anyway. I feel, I feel a little hate going towards one side of the map, chat. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it felt like, felt like I was being a little bit ignored there. I don't, I don't think I appreciated that. Alright, so we're gonna try magic buff the group here. Do I have another mage? I do. Okay, so what we can start doing is what we call cleanup time. Oh, I thought they were lined up. That kind of sucks. I don't think I care about this guy. I care about this guy. He need, he 100% has to die here. There we go. Good level up. So your weakness is what? Wind? Why do I doubt this? I feel like wind is the most used. I don't know why it keeps happening, but it is really funny to me every single time. Uh, he's like too... Wait, I see what happened there. Almost. We almost have a goofy enough position to hit him. Try to do something like this, maybe. Still forces him to come at me at an angle. Oh no, that still won't work. Alright, I'm gonna risk in parameter here. Just to chip this guy out for a little bit. The only damaging people left are the Titan, 
the other enemy, and that's it. Everything else I could solo with the melee characters. Even the coral, I don't really care about at all. This guy has to die as well, so we're gonna do that attack. Move Chris over here. Try to bait with Tri's face. I'm sure somebody will try to go for Tri. No, that's not going to kill him instantly. The question is, can Loharl kill this target? I don't think he can. So what I'm going to do is actually just let the attack rock. It does chip him out a little bit. And then what I need to do is Hurricane Slash here. And then finish with Chris. Because if this guy gets free roam, his poison is actually a problem. Let's do this. Good call. I did not think that would kill him. Alright, let's put the Rogue Nine over here to intercept. That was like the best series of targeting I have ever seen. That was the best series of enemy targeting I've ever seen. Why did they all go for the characters that can kill them? I have no idea. Listen, they, they could have targeted many things. That is just what they decided to do. That's not my fault at that point. But this guy is now a problem, but he has low resistance, so I might be able to blitz him. Taking a lot of damage here, but we should be able to... Should be able to Meteor Impact and kill both of these. Good. And we just have this guy left. Might kill the Harl, we'll see. Let's focus on... Killing the dragon thing. I don't I don't think we can let the dragon thing roam free anymore. It, it needs to die this turn. We're de definitely going to do this. Actually, before I do that, I keep forgetting order of operations. We need to make sure our mages are at full strength. We're going to make sure Pride does his best job to survive. He'll probably die to this. I don't think I could save him. We could do this for more damage. Okay. So, I don't think we can mess around. I think I just gotta kill with whatever I can kill with. So what we're gonna do is move you here. Melee once. So melee once. Stack some damage with Meteor Impact. Do more damage with Hurricane Slash. Then we gotta use Chris to probably come over here a bit more into Omega Wind, because that's what your weakness is, because of course it is. And then we'll use Omega Wind again, because why not? And hopefully Impair Meter kills here. Ooh, barely got that kill. That was a that was a good chain. That was a good chain. So two threats left. Other ones don't matter. That doesn't matter. You know what? The fact that Laharl is still alive is kind of amazing to me. So now we have a golem which is really far from the rest of the party, and we have this target, who is insanely tanky. So he's gonna take forever to kill, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. So I could try to hurt him a little here with Hurricane Slashes. Let's see what happens. Target height problem. Please. Hurricane Slash, please just do better. The double hurricane slash into. I want to pump their. Yeah, I want to pump their in actually. Do this first, because it won't like the combo otherwise. So if we could kill him, then there's only one threat left. The mages shouldn't be able to die to anything other than the golem and this character. So if I surround him. I can stop him from reaching the mages, which is huge. I could do a normal attack. Wait, could I do... 
Did I do Blazing Knuckle? Are you weak to fire? You are weak to fire. That's actually big. Let me do... Normal Strike. Don't think he'll get in a counter war. Oh, he's got a lot of counters. Actually, I don't. I don't want to begin the counter war. I'm just gonna go here just to block. Then what we're gonna do is Chris's fireball move into another fire. We might not even be able to hurt him, and that's where my only concern is. Just a little damage. We almost killed him. I'm going to move my other character further away, because he's unless likely to get Fireball! targeted there. So we're going to have to end our turn here, but at least I can damage him through his 4k. And killing both of those characters is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Well, fortunately, the golem moves really slow, so as long as I move next turn, I should be fine. I could get like a good Omega Star going if I want. I definitely want a Hurricane Slash into probably Chris's Omega Fire. Good call. Finish you with Omega Wind. <laughs> I was gonna say, Chow, we're, we're, this feels like Etna mode, right? <laughs> Where it just feels like there's so many high-powered enemies. Well, unfortunately for Golem, Golem just moves too slow. Like his four movement, we move five with the mages, so he literally can never reach our leveled up mages ever. It's it's physically impossible. So at this point, the, the game is over. He is lost. He should have taken the bribes, right, chat? That was his fault. But was he weak to wind? Of course he was. Why do I even question? At this point, like, look at, like, Omega Fire we had first, and Omega Wind has out-leveled it. To me, it's kind of insane. I love it, though. Ice is catching up a little bit, but yeah, Omega, Omega Wind OP. Almost got the kill. Disrespectful one tile movement away from him. Congratulations, you killed our other mage. So anyway, I think it's time for Chris to end this. In the only way that befits this setting. We're gonna go ahead and magic boost into Chris doing damage. <laughs> Rude. There we go. Papaya says the two Yevos just sit and watch a bloodbath. Yeah, pretty much. Holy. What an unlock. So we're going to check this out real quick, and this will be the last thing we do. So next time we play, we're going to actually get a 999. Fortunately, we had a ton of setup to get to this point. So now my curiosity is, if we check now, what level are these enemies? I'm just going to skip the sequence for now. We'll check later. What level are these? You know, arguably... I could clear the stage as is. Honestly, maybe I just go through uh, Cave of Ordeals to get to Cave of Ordeals 3. So if I combine all these enemies, I could end up at, let's see, 150, 300, 600, 900-ish. So right now, in theory, chat, I could get a level 1000 or so just off this map alone. But I need some slightly stronger monsters before we do that. So I could, in theory, just grab one of these and throw them in the base. Hmm. Oh, hey! Look, real bonus rewards. Interesting. Okay, so I think that's what we're gonna do next time, chat. Let's complete a little bit of the Cave of Ordeals. And I think because the stronger enemy build is so slow in Disgaea 1, we will take what we have here to get to Cave of Ordeals 3. And I think our goal is to get, like, potentially a Super Mana Core. There's basically two monster types I'm interested in. One is Golem, because it has great AoE, even though it's very slow. And the other is the Nekomata. So the Nekomata was the uh, cat girl thing that has really high counter rate and high physical damage. So I would like to have at least one or two of those, and then we steamroll the rest of the uh, bonus content. So we'll come back to this next time, chat.
So challenge completed, as a reminder. We beat the challenge. We, we don't have to grind anymore, but... We're gonna go ahead and get some super monsters, I think, next time. So I think we've gotten almost all the setup out of the way. We're really close. But once we start climbing, level growth in this game is basically exponential. So if I get a level 500 monster, I can start getting a level 1000 monster. I can start getting a level 2000 monster. I can start getting a level 4500 monster. It The scale goes off the charts. So we basically have been doing very minor level ups for our characters, which might matter for our first capture. Uh, but basically after that, when we see like a level 300 monster, we might just grab them. Then we might go for a 900, as I said before. So the only thing we might need to do is purchase a monster weapon to make sure that they have just raw stats. And given that we have 2.7 mil from our other playthrough, I'm not that worried at the moment. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, chat, let's take a break here. And on Tuesday, we're going to go ahead and conquer, I guess, Cave of Ordeals at some point all the way through, but at least to the point where we can start getting super monsters. So we're going to get to the rather infamous map in Cave of Ordeals. And from there, funny enough, we're still not going to use it to kill for experience. We're only going to be using it for monster levels. So the whole struggle with our party, it will be over very, very soon. But anyway, chat, that's all for now. So next time, look forward to that. But to everybody else, I guess we'll say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch this point in the video of the VOD, say thank you again for watching, and see you again next time.